we are back with yet another episode of the most quotable films of all time. It's been a minute here, but uh, uh, we're back with the letter W and you guys voted for The Wolf of Wall Street, uh, another Scorsese classic. And uh, this should be good because, yeah, a ton of quotes. This this can really go all over the place. But uh, I don't remember who started us last time. So you want to start us with your number five? Yeah, I'll start number five because I think you did start me. I don't remember. But okay. I think you did. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, okay. This was uh, Matthew McConaughey, Mark Hanna. Yeah. Nobody. I don't care if you're Warren Buffett or if you're Jimmy Buffett. Nobody knows if the stock is going to go up, down, sideways, or in fucking circles. Least of all stockbrokers. Ah, uh, that's a good one. Yeah, I wanted to get a McConaughey quote in there, but I couldn't fit him in. Like my literally, my th my list says honorable mention. Anything McConaughey says because <laughs> he's so good in that just a short role that he's in in the beginning. Yeah. yeah. Uh, like if, if this counted as a quote, the, mm, 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 I would have put that on. <laughs> you, you so can a quote. We've done sounds I, I'll just have that as my honorable, but, uh, yeah. So good. when he's like, it's a who's one of the horror movies. We did yeah. the, the, the woman screaming as one thing or something. Oh, that's true. We did. Yeah. So, yeah. But also like when he's like, it's a hoozy, it's a whatsy. And like just all the crazy <laughs> stuff he says and uh, when he takes him out for lunch. So awesome, man. Uh, so, yeah, that's a good one. So my number five is said, I think, at the very end and close to the beginning of the movie. And uh, it's when DiCaprio says, sell me this pen. I was gonna do that one, and I yeah. did it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I almost didn't do it either. It, it was between that and McConaughey, but I figured it kind of. There was, um, there was a story. There was a story behind that too. Right. Yeah. When uh, let's see. Uh, the police officer who was assigned to guard DiCaprio yeah. told DiCaprio. And he was once interviewed for a job by the real Jordan Belfort. Yeah. And during Belfort handed him a pen and said, sell me this pen. Right. So that's that's why the capital incorporated into the uh the yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, I, I I've I've read a lot of stories about like the real thing and how a lot of it amazingly was not embellished <laughs> and like just uh <laughs> ridiculous but yeah that's cool so what's uh your number four all right obviously this was uh dicaprio yeah of all the drugs under god's blue heaven there is one that is my absolute favorite that's that's see enough of this shit will make you invincible able to conquer the world and eviscerate your enemies. Oh. And I'm not talking about this. I'm talking about this. Ah, yeah, yeah. That that pretty much sums up the movie right there. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's a good one. Um, and I think that's towards the beginning, like when he's talking directly to the camera, right? Um, yeah. Yeah, good stuff. Um, I, I don't know if we'll have any in common because there's just so many qu good quotes all, all around. Right now. My number four, I love this scene when they're on the yacht with the FBI agent uh, played by Kyle Chandler. And it's when he says, Honestly, I'm not bullshitting here. This is one of the nicest boats that I've ever been on. I got I to gotta tell you. I bet it is. And you know what I was just thinking too? The fucking hero that I'm going to be back at the office when the bureau seizes this fucking boat, because I mean, fuck it, he fuck, fuck, George, look at this thing. <laughs> it's beautiful. If you get the beautiful girls there, it's wonderful. I just love the way he curses in that. It's so ridiculous. There's, right, well, they must yeah. have broken records for how many uh, curses were in this movie. Not on your uh, list? No, that was not on my list. Okay. Uh, so my number three is on the boat also. Okay. This was 
in the storm and to made the guy go out, you know, the yes. captain of the yacht to go out. And then uh, he's, you know, he's telling him to go down into the, into the thing. To get you know, the drugs. To get the quaaludes, right? Yeah, the quaaludes, right. And to go, to, yeah, it's going to, it's three feet of water down there. And yeah. then so Caprio says, I will not die sober. Get those fucking loads. Yeah, that that actually I did write as another honorable mention because yeah, that's that's great. <laughs> so ridiculous, man. The quaaludes, my god. So I, I have something regarding the quaaludes, but higher, uh, but not that one. So my number three is uh, I believe from his final speech, which uh, there's a lot of good speeches that he gives in this movie, but it's when. He it seemingly in real time decides that he's not going to step down after he gave his speech about stepping down. And it, so he starts with, I'm not leaving. I'm not fucking leaving. The show goes on. need a fucking wrecking ball to take me out of here. <laughs> They're gonna need to send in the National Guard a fucking SWAT team because I ain't going nowhere. Did that uh, make your list? It did originally, but I took it off. <laughs> we are gonna have none in common, I guarantee it. Okay, so what's your number two? Uh, this, I, this was a line from one of his long speeches. I want you to deal with your problems by becoming rich. Okay, just that line? Yeah, just that line. All right. Because, uh, yeah, I think there's some other, you know, good stuff within that, like talking about, they, they always say, like, use working at mcdonald's as a disparaging remark like i think that was in there they're like if you don't like it go work at mcdonald's or whatever <laughs> so ridiculous uh okay so my number two both my two and one i know for sure you're not gonna have because these are just like random things that just crack me up and they both involve jonah hill who is hilarious in this but it's when uh early on in the relationship between the two of them and they go behind a building to smoke crack together and it's just um it's when he goes smoke crack with me bro I smoke crack smoke some fucking crack with me bro I just love the way he says that <laughs> And then, of course, they do the crack and then just start, like, screaming and running out into the streets. Um, yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. So uh, what is your number one? I've been a rich man and I have been a poor man and I choose rich every fucking time. Your, your list is a little repetitive with your uh, choosing rich here. <laughs> Well, because the whole movie was repetitive with the list. Well, yes, that's true. Well, why all, had the he, drugs? all he cared about was getting all he cared about was getting rich and getting high. Yes, yes. And uh so on that note, my number one go you got the rich ones and I got the high ones. So my number one is when <laughs> he's trying to explain they're they're high on the ludes already. And he's trying to explain that he made this deal with Steve Madden, the, the shoes guy. But the way he's saying it is like, Steve Madden. Steve Madden. Steve. Steve. <laughs> I think about that all the time. Like whenever, I, whenever the name Steve in any scenario comes up, I always think of DiCaprio. I, going, I don't Steve. think you on that one, I don't think you should put the, the movie clip in. I think it should be the way you did it. <laughs> That's so funny. Or even like when I hear uh, 
Rick Steves talk talk uh during his travel show. I think Rick Steves <laughs> <laughs> I elongate Steve every time. So yeah, this is going to be great, man, putting this together. So based on our laughter, I think Steve should be number one. Good. And yeah. then it was only the way you said it. <laughs> <laughs> was the way they said it. And so uh so we're just gonna go every other one. So your <laughs> one is two. The uh I take rich every time, then three is do do crack with me bro so it's it's money and drugs every other one and then uh your two which was i want you to i don't remember something else about the money Deal with your problems by becoming rich that's yeah. what he's talking to yeah his I th trainees i think we need to do a top six on this one because uh we gotta have both your um uh i will not die sober and the i ain't going nowhere because that's classic so that we're we're even all right and then the cop said something to him just don't say a fucking word or something like that i remember oh uh, yeah 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 but uh yeah, let me get, give you a little legal advice. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, this is uh, this is a classic. So, all right, so we got the top six Wolf of Wall Street quotes for you right now. I will not die sober. Get those fucking loads. I'm not leaving. I'm not fucking leaving. <laughs> The show goes on! This is my home! They're gonna need a fucking wrecking ball to take me out of here! They're gonna need to send in the National Guard a fucking SWAT team, because I ain't going nowhere! I want you to deal with your problems by becoming rich! I have been a rich man, and I have been a poor man, and I choose rich every fucking time. Steve Madden. Steve. Steve. Yeah. yeah. Well done. Uh, yeah, I think that's a good list. And now we, uh, we're, we're at the point, we've done three seasons. XYZ is kind of out the window. We've done all the good ones, I think, at this point. So... As usual, when we start a new season, it's usually a democracy, but uh, we're not doing that with the letter A. Once again, we're picking and we decided on American graffiti. Yeah, so that's yeah. going to be fun. So we'll, well do now, that one. If, if they come up with an X, Y, or Z, they can write it in and <laughs> we'll take it into consideration. Well, yeah, I was thinking we were going to try Z. So I had a list, but I'm not that sold on it like the only one i really liked was zelig but it's a woody allen movie which i know you would hate so it's all good we're back to a baby season That's four can you believe we've done three seasons of this at this point it's it's crazy it. yeah i don't even know how if many episodes what yeah well you figure there's 26 letters in the alphabet. So and, just and we've done at least 20 that. for each season, probably. So, uh, yeah, yeah, we've done at least 60. I yeah, think we're, we're somewhere around we did, 65. We did somewhere. 22 a season, at least. Yeah, so that sounds right. We, we're probably around 66, somewhere around there. Yeah. Crazy. All right. Well, this should be interesting. Season four of three and four is top five. Still going strong, <laughs> baby. So uh, we'll see you on the next one. Yeah, that's three and four. Three plus four. There you go. Yeah. Do the math, everybody. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Love you. Love you, too. All right. Bye. Bye.